the, the line work onto this paper and then just incorrect. Good morning guys, how you doing? Today is day 13. <laughs> how you doing? Do you hear that hissing sound? That's my computer. Does that seem normal? Considering it's brand new since, what, August or something? When did I get this? April? I don't know, it does this weird fan thing when it's like uploading video. I don't know, it seems weird. Today is Wednesday. Um, I, I always get up, even though we don't leave for hours in the morning because school starts late, I still, that's a really annoying sound. I still get up and get moving at, I still get up at 5.30, but I like when my body just naturally wakes up at like five. Um, and then I lay there and slowly, you know, wake up and look at my phone and stuff until my alarm goes off at 5.30. I've already talked to my sister this morning. I have one of my drawings done, so I'm very happy with that. I just have to color it now. I'm watching Jake Parker, that illustrating a children's book, because of course I fell asleep watching half of it last night. Today is just a regular day. We don't have any appointments or anything after, um, after work. I did talk to the doctor. I ate my lunch yesterday and then I had to go call, um, the scheduling people with the doctor to arrange, um, for Bryn's tests that she needs done in the new year for her, um, lupus. Um, so she needs a pulmonary test, which is like breathing and stuff. And then she needs an echocardiogram thingy. So for any Canadians out there that want to know how much those suckers are, they're like $900. Um, so yeah, it's just weird. Cause you go in Canada, you go in for tests or operations or anything. I had two C-sections. You walk in, you walk out. Like you don't, you don't pay for it that way. You do pay for it in your um, income tax and, and taxes and all that kind of stuff. But I'm thinking down here, we pay taxes too. I don't know. There's an argument for both sides. Um, here you're in, they diagnose you, they send you for all this testing and you figure it out fast as anything. Um, like within a week we had been to the doctor, been to the rheumatologist, and now we have an appointment for testing. Like boom, done. Canada, you'd still be waiting to get into the specialist. So that's the thing. It goes faster here, but you pay for it. Home, you wait and you wait, but then you get it done and that's free in a way. So I don't know. There's an argument for both. So that's going to be in January. We have to go to the, um, hospital in Seattle to have the testing done. Um, so yes, yeah, so we have those. <sighs> arranged and then we have to go back to the rheumatologist and he's going to discuss um, the results and and then we'll know what kind of medication she needs to be on her hands are getting worse like she the other night she like just washed her hands and our water takes forever to heat up so she's like oh screw it i'll just wash my hands and she washed her hands and the water was fairly cold and she came out and like half her fingers um, were white so she seems to be even more sensitive. Like it's crazy. She does have a medication right now that she's on, um, that she takes, I think she takes it once a day, but I don't know if she started taking it twice a day. Um, and it's to help reduce that. Um, so yeah. And I don't know if she'll be able to stay on that when we figure out like what other medications she needs, or there'll be one big medication regimen that she has to do. Um, and it'll cover everything. So they just have to rule out that her heart is fine and her lungs are fine and her liver's fine and, and all her organs are okay. Because, um, apparently with lupus, your body can attack your organs. Um, so that's not good, but you know, you can, you can have lupus and maintain a normal life. You just have to, you know, be careful with your medication stuff. It's like, you know, a diabetic, if you know, you can be okay with it as long as you're, you know, stay into your, um, insulin or well, I don't know about diabetes. Scott's parents have it, but I just, and, um, I just don't know how you maintain it, but you know what I mean? If you maintain it, you're, you're okay. If not, and you ignore what you're supposed to do, then you could have problems. So yeah. So there you go with that. 
Ooh, I can't get warm. Okay. <laughs> I get tired when I'm cold and I'm cold right now because um, I need to dry my hair. So I'm going to go do that, do my lunch, and then I can come back and be all ready and just work until it's time to go. All right then. Okay. I promise I will show you exciting things. What are we doing this weekend? Are we doing anything this weekend? I don't know. And I don't have any appointments the rest of this week, do I? Nope. Saturday, I have to take the car in to Hyundai, so that will be fun. You can come with me. There's a Walmart across the street. Ikea is down the road, so maybe we'll go to Ikea. I lead such a fabulous life. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go, and I'll be back later, I'm sure, with something. Probably cross-stitch, <laughs> but I'll be back with something. All right. See ya. I'm back. I got my hair dry. I tried to curl it a little bit, looking all fancy. Got my big beige scarf sitting out on the steps that I'm going to wear today. So I'm nice and cozy. And now I'm going to draw for the next hour or so. All right. Let's do this. All right. Too bright on the screen. That I've worked on so far. It was a lot of fun and the subject matter lined up exactly with my interests. Um. All right guys, so I'm ready to go at the door and I just had a huge breakthrough with the thing I'm making for dad. I'm doing it the wrong way. I'm doing it horizontal and it needs to be vertical. So I just did up a mock dummy of it um, just to see what it looks like and now I know what I have to do to make it work. So yes, very excited about that. So it's a good thing. I'm going to work in my sketchbook at lunch today. I think, um, if I'm in the mood, that's why I always take something with me. I either want to draw or I want to cross stitch or something. So it just depends on my mood. Cause right now I would be in the mood to draw by the time I get to lunchtime, I might want to do something else. So I always bring some kind of activity into my, into my purse. Um, so I can do it at work, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling better about this and I may actually change the color of the base. I don't know. I got to think about that too. And there's like a couple other things I have to go with it, but yeah, I feel better with the size and how it's going to work. I think. Oh yes. Oh, definitely. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you in a bit. Bye. Hey guys, how you doing? It is six, six Oh four. How you doing? Uh, just got home. I came home from work, sat down for a minute, had a snack, and then I took off and went down to target. Um, I had to pick up something for Scott that I had ordered for Christmas. And then I decided to look around. I got him a couple other little things. And then I ran into two people that I work with. So we were like chatting in the middle of the aisles. Um, and yeah, so I went there. I went to another store, which I can't mention because I picked up, picked up something for the kids. And then I went to Trader Joe's. So I did some footage while I was down there. Insert now.
was good. Um, got a couple things accomplished, but now I'm just getting home and I'm just firing up the oven. So I bought matzo sticks in Trader Joe's and I got some chicken cilantro wontons and some chicken fried rice. It's really good. I'm glad you guys liked my vlog from yesterday. And Carol is asking if I've always been a morning person. I have always been a morning person. Like, even as a kid, I would get up early to go downstairs and watch cartoons. Like, and I would get up early. Okay, back in the old days when we had, what, three channels, um, <laughs> there was, there was, I don't know, maybe it was a Canadian thing. We used to have this really sad version of Hercules. Do you remember that? And it was like this little annoying little horse guy, a centaur, I think they're called. And he was like, hey, Herc, hey, Herc. <laughs> and then Hercules would come along and like talk to him, but it was like black and white. Now that I do realize I was watching it on a black and white TV. I'm like, is that weird? We have black and white TVs. Oh my God. Um, so I don't know if that was a Canadian show. Can anyone remember that? Let me see if I can find it. It's one of those weird things at Pinterest. Oh no, YouTube. Let's try YouTube. People are saying when near him, Hercules, only the evil fear him. Search you in his heart, fire in every part of the mighty Hercules. Don't worry, King Dorian. I'll stop Murtis. at me, Newton. Look for Murdus. But you're much prettier. Much prettier. Don't be such a silly center. We've got to stop Murdus before he can use any of those magic arrows. I remember one day I was watching it in the dining room and we had this weird little black and white TV in the dining room and I was like pushing the cart. Remember there was like a TV cart? Ours was like, it's a visual thing. I have to draw it. Dad, remember? Dad, do you remember this? And it was in the dining room and it was like this weird little cart. And this was like, this was a handle on the back. And then the, the TV would sit in the little wooden tray. Do you remember that? And we had that big beige, white, giant black and white TV. Anyway, this had like the little rolly wheels on it. And I was pushing on it with my feet because I was just, I don't know, bored <laughs> watching Hercules. And one of the wheels fell off and the TV started to fall and I had to tr like try to catch it. And I was like 10. The TV tried to kill me. We had a TV. My eyes are so itchy right now. I got to take my um, things. And you had like the buttons. So, okay. So the TV for all you, all you kids that don't understand what this was. And then there was a big dial and I used to get yelled at for like, turn like you'd turn the dial too, too quick and you'd strip it. And then there'd be like, there was like diagonal lines with like the speaker in underneath the diagonal lines. And I remember being little <laughs> and I'd be watching Sesame Street and I would like yell into the TV. Like if like Big Bird asked a question or something, I would yell back to him because I thought they could hear me. <laughs> oh my God. Sad. That was sad. Really, we had like what? I think maybe we had eight channels or something. And I tried to explain to the kids that we didn't have like a 24 hour cartoon channel and we didn't have 24 hour news channel. Like and the TV shut off at night. And in Canada, it played like, oh, Canada at the end of the night. And then the TV would either go to snow or it would go to like the pattern, like just with the lines. Lunchtime, I used to walk home from school and I'd come home and I would watch Hogan's Heroes and I would watch the Flintstones. Love the Flintstones. But the, even to this day, if I hear the end song of the Flintstones, like when the show ends, <laughs> he's putting the, the big saber tooth cat outside with the milk bottles for the morning. Like when I hear that, I'm like, Whoa! I kind of get sick to my stomach because it was like that was my cue that I had to go back to school because <laughs> it was after lunch and you walked back to school. Oh my God. And then Saturdays I'd get up and watch cartoons. I would watch the Smurfs. I would watch Scooby-Doo though. Scooby-Doo scared me and it scared Scott too. <laughs> we used to talk about this because Scooby-Doo would come on around like five o'clock and in the winter time, it would be dark. So you'd be watching it and it would be like dark out or getting dark out. And it'd be like scary because it was a monster. And apparently neither one of us clued in that it was always like 
the caretaker or the janitor or whoever it was that, you know, that the meddling kids, um, you know, foiled his, his master plan. Um, it was like the glowy orange guy and stuff. It was always kind of spooky and scared us. <laughs> Although Bryn used to be scared of Swiper. <laughs> In uh, Dora, Dora the Explorer, Dora the Explorer. It should be Dora the Explorer. She swears to this day that Swiper was in our bedroom at our house on Gold Rush. That was the house that Kerrigan was born in. And she swears up and she will still to this day swear up and down. I'll try to bring her down later and, and ask her about Swiper. And she'll say, mommy, like it was there. I swear to God. She saw like his tail, like hiding on the side of our bed. <laughs> um, okay. So did I tell you this morning that I had a breakthrough with the thing I'm making for my dad? So I'm going to work on that. Um, tonight, I think. So I drew things and I printed them out and I cut them out and I glued them to this thing. And this is now the mock-up because this is not the final one because I'm not happy with it, but I now know what I'm going to do. So I feel better about that. Yeah. Progress. <laughs> it might get to you, dad. Um, thank you for enjoying my dad. You guys you are so sweet and I will get him on FaceTime more often and we'll have little perhaps little fireside chats at Christmas time with dad and we'll FaceTime him and talk about random things. that will be fun. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be up for it and we'll attempt our different accents depending on the mood. So there you go. <laughs> I just got the mail because Scott uh, picked it up um, when he came in and I got two Christmas cards. So the, my mailbox that I closed off, it is getting forwarded through. It's got the little yellow thing on there. So this one's from Diane and it's got the little deer on the back. How cute is that? Oh, I'm going to mess up his head when I open it up. Oh, these kids are so cute. Season's greetings from Jim and Diane and their grandkids. They are so cute. Cute, 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 adorable kids. So sweet. And then this one is from Cleota over in Oklahoma. Sorry, Diane is from M.O. I want to say Missouri. <laughs> oh, look, it's a little bird feeder. Isn't that cute with little red birds? Tanya, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Missing, I miss seeing your videos. Hope everything is okay from Cleota. So that was the beginning of December. So I had just been doing my, um, uh, my vlogmas. So there's my videos there and all I will be doing some craft videos in the new year. And look, she included a little pattern there for a little tree from the Prairie Schooler. Isn't that cute? A little pattern on the back. Thank you so much guys. Very sweet. Look at that. Did you make that? Tell me you made that. That's adorable. So cute. I'm back because I have to figure something out. Um, I'm trying to do the base of something. God, I wish I could show you guys what I'm trying to make. And then I could get suggestions. But if I was to do the base of something to put my drawings on, would it be white, brown, or black? It's me. It would be black, wouldn't it? Because everything I do is outlined in black. So that would make it pop more, wouldn't it? Because I've done it in brown, I've done it in white. It ain't working. So I think I need my black paper. Yes, instantly, as soon as I bring this out and look at it. That's the right answer. But now how far do I go? Why can't you read what's on this ruler? That sucks. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> it's just me talking to myself, trying to figure it out. You know why? Because I'm talking to a camera. You're not really there. You're here. All right. Oh, shit. Tanya. I was supposed to flip it over. You guys were supposed to be watching me and telling me I did that wrong. Hmm. You know what the problem is? I'm too tired right now. <laughs> you know what my mom would say? She's like, she'd say, you're tired out. 
should say out. You're tired out. You can't do any more tonight now. You're tired out. <laughs> Wouldn't she, Dad? She'd say, you're tired out. And when you got upset, she said, no, just calm down. Just calm down. She didn't say calm. She said calm. And when she'd go to Florida, she'd say, I'm under a palm tree. She always said palm. <laughs> she'd say, just calm down. You're tired out. <laughs> oh my and I'd love if we were like out somewhere and it was late and we'd come home from somewhere and she'd say oh just get just go brush your teeth and wash your face and go pee and just crawl into bed oh the way we, she would just say crawl into bed oh my god it sounded so welcoming and you would, and you'd feel better, and you'd have a good big sleep. All right, this is working so far. You know why? Because I calmed down. Two more pieces. Okay. I don't like paper trimmers. I'm sorry. I don't enjoy them. I like the beast. Bren, what? come here for a minute. Can I come too? Sure. Yeah, because I don't know the answer to this for you. Oh, wait, what? Oh, goodness. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bryn, I was saying how Scooby-Doo used to scare me when I was little. You've never seen Scooby-Doo? You've never seen Scooby-Doo? No. You, you, you raised us. I raised What's you? What's the You used to be scared of a certain cartoon character. Would you like to share? Why were you scared of Swiper? Because <laughs> I saw him. Where did you see him? Gold Rush. <laughs> Where was he? I was on Daddy's shoulders. I was looking over the side. Yeah. Like, I was looking over the side yeah. of his shoulder. And we, he was taking me to my room. And we walked by your room. Yes. I saw his tail on the other <laughs> side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> and do you still at 17 yeah. swear that you yeah. saw Swiper's tail? That's so vivid. Like, that's my only memory from that. From that house? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it was an imaginary fox. It was, it was there. Swiper was there. It Kerrigan? Was. Yeah. What, are, what, were you ever afraid of a cartoon? I don't know. Was I? <laughs> Why are you underneath me? I don't look like at her head. Being on the internet. <laughs> Just her head pops. I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> okay, do like jazz hands, and this will be my Vlogmas Day wow, this is 13 a... thing. Hey! Do <laughs> you just use screenshots from your videos? No, I sometimes have okay. to make take a, a shot. Thumbnail, honey. I, uh, I make my own sorry, thumbnails. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Snarky little one. Was I? So you were never afraid of a cartoon, I don't right? No, I can't remember. Yeah. Was I? No, it's just funny that Bryn I'm was. Of and Bryn, you would have been in that house. Like four. Oh, you were four? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because we moved from that house when you were four. Well, I was young enough to, like, understand, and I was young enough to be afraid. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that is all. Okay. Was I ever scared of something? I don't think you were ever scared of a cartoon. I could. Here. The idea of Pinocchio kind of scares me. The idea of Pinocchio. Yeah. It's not an idea, it's a story. No, but it's fake. Like... Well, honey, a lot of cartoons are fake. No! <laughs> so Pinocchio, you think, is the only fake cartoon? No. What was your favorite? Shrek 2. <laughs> That's not even. What was your favorite Christmas gift you ever got? See, I don't Love remember. Love and family time. Love and family time? <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. I don't remember. You don't remember any of your toys? Bad boy. You liked your phone? Well, I haven't broken it. I mean, toys is different than years. phone. Okay, what was your favorite toy you ever had? My throne. I think the Jeep. <laughs> Kerrigan had a princess throne. Was that Barbie or something? No. Yes, it was. No, Barbie Island Princess. No. 
Was oh it, yeah, it was. It was Barbie Island Princess. Violet, Barbie yes. Island Princess throne. throne. And when she'd sit on the cushion, it would go. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and your favorite one was what, Bryn? The Jeep. Oh, the Jeep. They had the princess. Princess or Barbie? Princess. Princess, princess Jeep. And <laughs> Bryn was. You were five when you got that. And Kerrigan mm. was two. And Christmas Day, we took it down to the basement because it was winter and you couldn't drive it outside. So we took it down to the basement. How did we get that thing down the basement and then back you up? Held it. it wasn't that thing. It was heavy. There was a giant battery in the thing. And we took it down the basement and Kerrigan got in and <laughs> drove it into the wall. Last day, Kerrigan ever drove the Jeep. That was it. It was your last day of driving. And Kerrigan, you'll be 15 in April. Are you going to get your driver's permit? No. No? Why? I'm going to download the Uber app. <laughs> She's going to Uber. You're going to Uber for the rest of your life? I'll try to. Try. <laughs> you just need a self-driving car. You'll yeah. be a good candidate for that. And why don't you want to drive? Because I'm bad. You've never, You've never driven, driven no, honey. I you know. were too driving a plastic I Jeep. I am going to be bad. I can't play parking games. I can't. Really? I can't drive a golf cart. <laughs> I can only go straight on a golf cart. You are a little spazzy in a golf cart. I do admit that. It's scary. <laughs> and I don't understand how it works. How do you know how much gas to do? Well, that's what you like, learn. You just then. get the feel. Like, no. <laughs> there's not an amount of gas. You just no, like, how do you know foot. how far to go? Well, there's a speed limit, up. and you feel the car going faster. Oh, God. And then there's a brake in case you're going too fast. I don't understand how you only use one foot. Well, it gets really screwed up if you use two feet. No, if you use two feet, then one's for gas, one's for brake. No. <laughs> okay, we'll get you the Uber app. I already have it. Oh, you have it. Are you going somewhere? Uber Eats. <laughs> oh, Uber Eats. No, You're just ordering mates. random food like from stranger. Oh, pretty. No, mine's better. Look what Kerrigan made. made. Did Bryn make, Bryn make one? Yeah, I think it's better. Let's see. Have them vote. Vote in the comments down oh, below. Vote in the comments down below who made it better. Oh, Brian. Sorry. <laughs> Brian. Brian or Cardigan. <laughs> Brian or Cardigan. There you go. You gonna go hang them on the trees? Oh my god, yeah. Throw it at the tree. Don't don't <laughs> throw it at the tree. Are you guys going up? Yes. Alright. I was never down here. Okay. Oh my god. I'll be up soon. Oh my. Goodnight.